what's up guys we're here to finish off the side quest the scientific method this is going to be the end of it actually and we're getting ready to head to an underground facility which is supposed to be located at a farm and we're heading out there to retrieve an experimental compound for the science couple that we have been working for if you want to see the videos that led up to this video then check out the channel and I'll also place those videos down at the bottom in case you have not seen the other missions that we have completed for this couple. Now we're getting ready to head out to a location right there to the bottom far right. And I don't think that's worth going to retrieve the Jeep. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go to a location we've already been to, and then we're going to hump it from there. I want you guys to see how differently they designed this planet. Bethesda so far has done things a little different than Starfield. They haven't really designed Starfield according to the 42nd rule, which is in any direction you run or walk or whatever, you're going to run into some something of interest. So far in Starfield, it's been more like a simulator on foot which I have enjoyed, but this is, you know, Todd Howard kind of stressed the truth when he said a while back that Starfield was like Fallout in space, or rather Skyrim in space, which is not true. Skyrim very much adheres to the 42nd rule. Starfield at the overall, the base game does not, however, but Shattered Space is quite different. Uh, as you can even see here, as I'm working my way over to this uh, facility that we're going to, we're going to see a lot of things. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm trying to clear my throat a little bit. But yeah, you're going to see a lot of points of interest and just a lot of different things that you could get into if you wanted to. I've been doing a pretty good job of staying pretty disciplined, staying on task. Like, for example, here, I, I've already passed by a couple of places that I would like to visit couple of things I like to investigate but we're going to stay on task and make it over here to this facility uh, which I'm sure is going to have a lot of enemies on the surface and then we're going to have to go underground. There's a enemy up top there. I'm gonna have to go ahead and just take him on out. We should move on, if there's nothing worth taking. Now, I know we have the vehicle, but believe it or not, I actually love to hump it. Man, look at this place up here. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this place, man. You see someone up there. And the thing is, you don't know whether or not those are friendlies or not, you know? But like I said, you know, I'll come back to that. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, but I still love humping it on foot, man. 
Look at this place. Let's see if we can find out what it is. Way Shrine of Strength. Okay, it's some kind of shrine. Looks like a pretty big place. Probably also has some uh, underground arteries as well. Now see here is a, another location. place looks pretty big. See if we can get an idea of the scale of it up top. Pretty nice size, but it's not unusually huge. I really like these locations, man, that Bethesda has designed for this DLC. I mean, they they really pull you in. They make you they make it so that you can't really wait to uh, get inside. We definitely want to work our way to higher ground because I definitely don't want to be at this position when the action starts. Look at the effects of that sunlight, man. That's, that's awesome, man. The way the light is casting over the facility.
Make sure there's no one up here. Okay, here we go. Man, what the hell? I'm not hitting him at all. Switch to the old trusty sniper rifle. Still not hitting him. Can't even get a marker on him. Tell you what, let me uh let me change positions. These enemies definitely aren't stupid. They know how to use cover. Wait, somebody, whoa.
Man, these dudes are flanking and everything, huh? Man, this dude is embedded in. Let me let me go on up here and get face to face. So it's definitely some enemies up there. I'm just I'm just wondering is it worth going up there right now? So I think we got most of them. Just have to do a little cleanup. Certainty. We were destined to succeed. I'm hit. Okay, looks like he ran off. Not even going to bother chasing him down. I don't really see a computer around here anywhere. I wonder if we have to go inside because I don't see anything out here. Usually when it's a computer panel for a door and it's outside, it's usually a little closer. Yeah, I don't see anything. We go ahead and go inside.
Your skill with locks is admirable. Why, thank you, Andreja. I wonder how many credits it would take to get Crimson Fleet pirates to turn on one another. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I should nickname the Tesla Old Dependable. Unlicensed persons have been detected within the facility. Their current status is unknown. All employees are encouraged to approach intruders with caution. All employees are to remain at their workstations. Secure your work areas. Do not report to the loading bay until further notice. All employees are, to, are encouraged to approach intruders with caution.
it's funny because that Tesla is actually a mod, but it populates the entire game with it. That's uh, that's pretty cool. anything of value?
have your head! That's just going back to the same platform I was just on. Go back over here. <laughs> yeah, he's buying something. <laughs> the hell was I thinking? a victory.
The new lineage of the mild sire tuber proves particularly hardy. However, even with maximum moisture, there is lower yield of about 85% of active ingredient necessary. This is offset by proving to have high bioavailability. Is that actual terminology? I guess in the uh, Starfield universe it is. Because of the resistant nature of the Zeta 631, the new mild sire tuber yields over 300% active growth. More than compensating for the 15% decline of physical compound per unit of tissue. Batch D can now be moved to the incubation and harvesting, and Batch C can be moved to distillation. Please remember to sanitize all equipment as protocol deems necessary. Storage and refrigeration are both prepared for routine maintenance. The appropriate employees should report to these areas for cleaning. Failure to comply will result in corrective actions being taken. Okay, that was half decent, but Bethesda needs to work on the reward you get for breaking master locks because uh, sometimes it really sucks. So they need to work on that. You should always get something of great reward when you break a master lock and definitely you should get more than 700 credits. But on the flip side, by the time you hit a place of this size, by the time you get through taking all the credits of all the enemies, it's a pretty significant haul.
I imagine it was not part of your training as a miner. Okay, no signal. Hopefully that means I've destroyed all of the turrets. Resources that you can buy in any store in the Starfield universe should never be behind an advanced lock. I mean, I really feel that that's something that Bethesda really needs to work on, man. Gratitude for the medicines I've provided them, the Mouse Hill Farmers have been kind enough to extend my use of the temporary laboratory on site. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Mouse This will save me many trips back and forth from the Hamadi Station, which is a blessing at my age. Hazad complained, of course. The incident in the city has us all on edge, but it has also reminded me that if there is something I feel that is important to do, I should do it now. I know we'll miss each other, but I also believe that time apart can help us remember why we love each other and renew our mutual appreciation. Besides, it should only be a week or two at most. Now that everything is set up and ready, it is time to collect some mycelium specimens. There are plenty on hand, so it shouldn't take long. The initial phase of the project has been focused mainly on gathering information. I've created detailed genetic profiles of the specimens I've assembled and started to catalog their toxic enzymes. The next step will be to develop a compound capable of neutralizing these toxins, while also bolstering characteristics that will make the specimens more desirable as a food source. I can hear Azad's voice in my mind saying, time to turn theory into practice. It's only been a few days since I arrived here and I already miss his company. 
after no small amount of trial and error, my first attempt at a neutrifying compound is ready for testing. I've selected seven species of mycelium for the first batch. The farmers here seem curious about my work and stop by to visit often. One of them even brought me dinner, which is just as well because I often get so absorbed in my work that I forget to eat. My eyes and back could use a rest, so I'll spend some time in prayer and then call it a night. Early applications of the neutrifying compound show promise. I've been able to reduce the toxic enzymes in all species to varying degrees. This at least seems to prove out the thesis. There's still much work to do, but I'm confident in the direction of the project. Hopefully in a few more days, I'll be able to transfer the project back to Hamadi Station and start testing on other species and flora. I miss my husband and my home. There's been a security breach and we're all being evacuated. No time to take anything. I hear gunfire above. Serpent, protect us. So now we know why the compound was just left here. That's what I was wondering. Like, why would they just leave the compound here? From Mazad to Bas. Well, you were right. Mere days you've been gone and I'm already lost and hopeless without my golden blossom. Yet I must persevere. I heard an interesting rumor today. One of the security patrols stopped by to check in and one of them mentioned having seen a starship plunge from the sky in the area of control site Kappa. An alarming development to say the least. The last thing we need now is unwanted visitors. Perhaps you should spread the word to the farmers over there just in case. May the serpent protect us. Hello my sweet. I hope the early phases of your project is going well. I'll be sending a message to Farhan today. I hope I pronounced that right. I found some more issues with the structural housing at the bottom of the elevator shaft. It's nothing too serious, mostly just a patch job, really. He's been keeping very busy lately, what with the lack of hands to do the repair work. Yet another reminder of what we recently lost, I suppose. May the great serpent be merciful and guide us safely out of these difficult days. Nothing much to report from back home, so I'll take this opportunity to tell you something. The greatest blessing the Great Serpent ever bestowed upon me was the gift of your presence in my life. I will always love my golden blossom. I hope you're making good progress and the Malsau farmers are being gracious hosts. If not, tell them that I'll make them sit through one of my lectures as punishment. Hello my love, how's work going? If I know you, the time is flying by and you've skipped at least one meal. Speaking of which, I miss your spicy stew. Things are quiet enough here, at times perhaps too much. I've been keeping a close eye on the local wildlife looking for behavioral changes following the events in Dazra. I can't help but wonder whether we have truly seen all of the effects from the incident. Perhaps I'm just turning paranoid in my old age. You'll be pleased to know our guest Miska from the Tannis Goat Farm has made a full recovery. I decided to surprise Elikja and took her there myself. Everyone was thrilled to see their little Miz come home and the other goats welcomed, welcomed her back to the herd right away. Oh, they're talking about a goat. I wish you could have had the chance to say goodbye, but it seemed wrong to keep her away any longer than necessary. Besides, you can always visit her. Alicja was very keen to make sure that I tell you so. Okay, this one opened up another side quest. Hello dear, not working too hard I hope. I was out for a walk this afternoon and encountered a group of penitents who had been trying to reach the Shrine of Perseverance, which they found to be occupied by zealots. The pilgrims were fortunate to have escaped unharmed, but I can't say I'm happy to learn that we now have a group of zealots staking a claim so close to Hamadi Station. The meeting with the pilgrims got me thinking, when is the last time we traveled the path of redemption together? I wonder if Vajun is still spending his days at the Shrine of Redemption. We should go and visit him. So, 
and reading the emails here from the terminal we have picked up another side quest and looks like we're gonna head to the temple I think that's the one that we passed on the way here on foot but right now we're gonna go ahead and get out of here we're gonna get this compound where it needs to go Okay, somebody is shooting at me. Where are you? So he's pretty high, so hopefully he'll have something of value on him. Let's uh let's go check it out. No big deal, just resale value, nothing I would want to keep in my personal collection. Beat me. Yeah, I'm out to put some rounds in this one. Are you prepared to die?
sun or something, we'll clean up whatever is left behind. Bet this is gonna put us out there where I was looking for the terminal. Yep, so that's why we couldn't find the terminal. This is the exit. Let's fast travel. Let us hope this laboratory has adequate safety protocols. Look who's back, and still in one piece, no less. Have you now? Well, bravo then. When Azad first suggested taking on an assistant, I'll admit that I had my doubts. I'm happy to say that you've laid them all to rest. Here you are. Payment as promised. Did you hear that, love? Our courageous research assistant has delivered yet again. I never had a shred of doubt. Nothing inspires courage and perseverance like the pursuit of knowledge, I always say. That is quite literally the first time I've ever heard you say that. Well, I, uh, I certainly always think it. Yes, dear. Of course you do. Indeed we do. Thanks to you, we not only have the answer to our little mystery, but a path to resolving it. Here's a little something extra for a job well done. Best of luck in your future scientific endeavors. 
Wow, so she just paid me 11,000 credits. That's just because I decided to ask her uh, another question. I decided to engage in more conversations with her. What a delightful question. I'm so glad you asked. You see, it's something of a point of pride. It was my mother who designed the layout for Hamadi Station. She was a gifted architect, as well as a botanist, and yet still found the time to be a wonderful mother. She married an engineer, and they built this place together. Hamadi was my father's family name. In many ways, I suppose my parents were my heroes as a child. By the grace of the serpent, we were spared. Even so, my dreams have been filled with darkness and dread every night. I believe the great serpent is testing us, and we must rise to the challenge. We must be strong and resourceful and prove our devotion beyond all doubt. Only then will we prove ourselves worthy. It was good to talk. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap it up right here. We're going to access that other uh, side quest, the one that opened up when we were reading the terminals back at the uh, farm. And uh, we're going to go to the temple that's been occupied by zealots.